Okay, one final question. <clears throat> this is problem 17 called numerical pattern. Um, and a little bit more involved. This is on the intermediate level. So it says, given the following number representing a pattern, 2053, you can see that 2053 is 2 to the 0 plus 5 cubed. Now, just for the purpose of this problem. And you're to take the sum of that. So 2053 really represents 126. So given the number below, what is this sum or the answer using the above pattern? So the number is quite large. Obviously, we just copy paste. So it's determined to be 36 characters long. So you can see it'll be 3 to the 4th plus 2 to the 3rd plus 4 to the 5th plus 8 squared plus 0 to the 1 is 0, 3 to the 9th, etc. So that's why we have a, a variable called sum. Now, again, it really should not get higher than a regular integer, but just again for insurance purpose we should do this. Now, one note here, you need the CMath library because of the power function. So let's get to work. So because of the POW function, they require floats. So say we have the float number starting at 0 and the exponent starting at 0. And now we have a for loop to go through the character sequence. So we know that the number is C sub i. And we know that the exponent is going to have to be its neighbor. And we can then increase the sum by calling the power function, giving it the number and the exponent. So there are a couple of missing things here. Now this is how most people would approach the problem right away. You're not quite right. Uh, you are correct in the power function, that's fine, and you did find the number and exponent, but the loop is not plus plus. It's got to be plus two. Otherwise, if you said plus plus, it would be three to the fourth, then four squared, then two to the third, then three to the fourth. That's incorrect. So, there's also one little tiny thing here. The rule about a character sequence is that it will store as its value the ASCII code of each individual character. So what you need to do is subtract it from the ASCII code for zero. So you need to do a little character arithmetic. Otherwise you will get an incorrect answer. You'll get a huge number. Um, because otherwise you're going to be dealing with something along the lines of 51 to the 52nd then it would be 50 to the 51st because that's the ASCII values so taking away the ASCII value of 0 if the number itself is 0 as in this case the ASCII value 0 is 48 if you take 48 minus 48 you get 0 so that is a correct calculation and you need to do that for each of these. And then finally at the end of it, <clears throat> see out the sum. And when you compile it, you're going to get warnings. But that's okay. And the answer we generate is that. Now, is that correct? Well, of course. Because there it is. So you were given three freebies. I should see every single one of you on the leaderboard with three. Hopefully a lot more than that. And, uh, you know, good luck to you. If you have any questions or concerns, certainly you can email me. Um, I won't give too much away, but hopefully it might give you a little guidance. You can use our help system as found here. Uh, and that just about does it. So good luck to you and have a lot of fun.